In this video we share Medjugorje visionary Ivan on the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Our Lady. In the celebration of the 30th anniversary of the Medjugorje apparitions, the seer Ivan Dragicevic mentioned some things that have been shown to him by Mary for the times that are approaching. He spoke that the events we will see them, implying that our generation will see them due to their proximity, that we will see the physical changes that will happen in the world, implying that physical changes are approaching on earth and that a day will come when things will be revealed to us, as Mary is revealing them to them. These phrases of Yvonne are not trivial, first of all because they were expressed by an instrument that in the last 30 years has been receiving messages from Mary, and secondly, because it allows us to know what is going to happen to us. Ivan Dragicevic was born on May 25, 1965, he was 16 years old when the apparitions began. A typical boy his age, he wasn't particularly devout. However, four days after the first appearances, his mother found a rosary in his pants pocket. The appearances have wrought a complete change in him. Ivan is one of the three visionaries who continue to have constant appearances and has received nine secrets. Ivan entered the seminary shortly after the apparitions began, but he experienced great difficulties, not only academically, but also emotionally and spiritually. Ivan expresses, During the time I spent in the seminary in Dubrovnik, I suffered a lot, really, a lot, because of my relationships with my classmates and professors. Those who were in the seminary did not believe that Ivan saw Our Lady and therefore constantly mocked and despised him. Regarding all the problems that he had then, Our Lady told me, don't worry. I will guide you through your life. Our Lady asked Ivan if he wanted her to show him his future. She revealed my future until my death. My personal future is my secret. Only I know. Now I am happy and I am not afraid, because I know that it guides me. Words of Ivanath's celebration of the 30th anniversary of the apparitions. On Friday, June 24, on the 30th anniversary of the Medjugorje apparitions, Ivan Dragicevic put aside his usual testimonial style to raise his gaze to the future. Many pilgrims, including priests, do not understand why the Virgin comes every day. What does the lady tell me every day and what do I tell her? First of all I must say that we talk a lot. But one day when things come revealed, we will understand, and our eyes will be opened. When we see the physical changes that will take place in the world we will understand why she came every day. Those words did not go unnoticed, just because they were not expected. Ivan Dragicevic, always quick to give personal testimony about his life, had broken the script. Suddenly the image of a future time emerged before everyone. In a way it became clear that he was not referring specifically to any of those ten secrets that are supposed to happen and that have so many waiting. No. He was speaking in the context of the daily life of the messages, of the mysterious reality of a disconcerting virgin who has so much to tell some of her children. And in this context of why Our Lady comes so much to Medjugorje, she revealed a surprising aspect. Because when he expressly said that we will see the physical changes that will take place in the world, and that we will understand he implicitly said many other things. From the outset, the presumed closeness of these events, because we will see them. And then its positive meaning, spiritually speaking, because our eyes will be opened and we will understand the reason for the apparitions. Because there will come a day when things will be revealed to us. And he also announced what will happen we will see the physical changes that will happen in the world. For Ivan, understanding the reason for the apparitions is not, as it might seem, doing justice to apparitions as loved as they are hated, but rather being able to perceive with the eyes of the soul the greatness of the life of faith. He will say it in other words, the time before us is one of great responsibility. Everyone is responsible. Each family is responsible. We must guide our families spiritually and base our lives on the holy things of the gospel. 
we must put into practice what the gospel teaches. This is the message of these 30 years. It is not a novelty, we know it from the church. But we don't live it. The lady invites us to be responsible. Then, when those events occur and we understand this in an obvious way, is it not like saying that the reality of God will no longer remain hidden from our understanding? What will become clear to us not only that God was present during these dark years, that the Virgin really appeared, but that there is no other option than either God or not God, and that the choice by God opens the doors to the future, while the denial of God only brings the destruction of everything and everyone. There is something of this when Ivan adds these words in his speech. These apparitions of the Lady are an alternative for humanity, a new call, a new way, a new future for humanity. Not because the Medjugorje apparitions are a mysterical landmark, a height of supernaturality, but because they are a patient catechesis on life in God. Simply, in the face of so much difficulty and opposition to the spiritual in this world, Medjugorje embodies the patience of heaven to lead us towards God. This is how Ivan will explain it, for some years we have had a message every Thursday, then once a month. Why? The lady was giving us time to understand each message. It is important to use our time well to live the messages. Just because life is serious and serious is what we play. But there is a latent novelty that blew up the script from what was planned. Yes, it is not new that the immoral act of man is followed by the terrible consequences of it. This past century, is a good example of this. And the present times threaten black clouds in all areas. Yes. That is the first teaching, that if we do not convert we will all perish. But Ivan Dragasevic has gone further. Or rather, he has revealed something else. When we see the physical changes that will take place in the world we will understand. What do future times have in store for us? Ivan Dragasevic looks up to that, beyond the dire consequences of our irresponsibility if we choose non-God. Because he comes to say, that despite the fact that we can be so irresponsible, and the ten secrets of Medjugorje seem to go along that line, in the end we have something disconcerting in store for us that is related to that almost daily presence of the Virgin teaching us to live the Gospel. Of course, the words that Ivan Dragasevic addressed that day bring echoes of other aromas, of other hopes that come in handy in these times of such difficulty. Echoes, perhaps, of that other promise of Mary at Fatima that in the end, whatever happens, her immaculate heart will triumph. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.